You're doing the movie? Mm-hmm. Oh, better keep my hands on my lap. Yeah, and it's not just because of me. I better keep my hands on my lap. Yeah, and it's not just because of me. I'm going to keep my hands off my lap. I'm going to keep my hands off my lap. We make it public accessible so yeah, I watched, to go to the meeting. I watched the Toulon, City of Toulon, but I had no volume. Uh, so I didn't know if. Yeah. Actually, was it was one of the most well behaved meetings. And that's I've ever exactly said why. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that might get a lot of. Both show to go back to the in everybody's packet they've already found issues no, with that just gonna increase the price. Which I knew it was. Well, and you knew it. Okay, no, it's in your yeah, packet. Everybody over my lips will fucking have it. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, it's it's not a good deal. You can't Jim, Jim, excuse me, did you pick up the uh, Ron's copy of the resolution that you just changed? Let me I excuse me one minute. You got your four on the same chain? Yeah, I just did the last. I missed 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 the we make sure the yep. Do it right, right the first time, I wouldn't have to. Yeah, we need to discuss exactly start quick explanation. Mike called me this afternoon and he had a issue at his house. Something happened and he had a guy there working and he said he wasn't going to get done until dark. So I don't know if Mike's ever missed a meeting so he thought he would probably miss this one. So he called me and he did it. But again, I said he was going to be old. He wasn't going to get in. Yeah, quite threatening but he's something he had to go around the Seven o'clock. We'll call it more seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. 
republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Mr. Bigger. Mr. Howes. Here. Ms. Madison. Here. Mr. Mueller. Here. Mr. Schmidt. Here. Mr. R. Story. Here. Mr. S. Story. Here. Vice Chairman Musselman. Here. It's kind of funny, we're all here with Mike. <laughs> yeah. If he's been here, we have rare time to have everyone. So. All right. Um, everyone got a chance to look at the minutes? from the May 22nd meeting. Um, any corrections? Second. Okay. Motion by Tom and second by Tom to approve the minutes of the May 22nd meeting. Pull the board, please. Ms. Magnuson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. Okay, um, we have a couple of uh, visitors with us here. I think they're both prospective board, future board members. And the rest of it is just the press and our employees. Does anybody have any uh, anything they'd like to bring up for comment? We appreciate everyone being here. Mark, we'll start with you then. I have two of the same. One four minutes and one for the recording. Yes. Okay. We got an extra one here for you. Okay. Thank you. That here. Or mine. A couple of things today. Uh, for uh, the first item, uh, we had a bid opening for Essex Township. They are uh, preparing to resurface a range of rock about a total of about a mile and a half. So they uh, want to get it all done in one shot. Wanted to put that out for bid. Uh, of course, the quantity it is, they were required to put it out for bid. So uh, we assisted them with that, and the bids came in uh, pretty good prices, actually. And uh, Craig Fetcher Trucking out uh, of Animal was the, uh, uh, the low bidder. So I uh, got a resolution in uh, to uh, award the contract for Essex Township uh, rock delivery to Craig Fetcher Trucking. I had a quick question. I had one guy call me about it, another guy asked me in the corn line about that if it was over with or whatever. Because I know a couple of them said, Well, I didn't get time to get there this now, but you had an ample amount of bids. Yeah, we had two bids actually that came in. Uh, they were both actually within about $500 of a uh, $400,000 contract. So very competitive bids and really pretty good prices. Okay. I had no idea, but one of them said, Well, it's kind of a quick. Opening they thought, so I didn't know. Is it posted for a Yeah, it was required to do a two week notice. So. Okay. They just didn't get, they didn't get to it. Mm -hmm. and they were just wondering, so. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <coughs> Will we uh, accept that in the bid from Craig Retro Trucking for the work for Essex Township? Okay. Second. I have a question. Are we are we required to accept a low bid when it's over ten thousand uh, dollars? Anybody know? Not always. If always. for some reason they do not meet the specs that we think they should, there is there is reason that we do not have to. Okay. Yeah, it's not a real issue in this case. But right. I just right. Right. The policy. Yeah. If everything is they've met all the criteria and we can't. We can't do it just because we don't like them. But uh, if there's some reason, I think we have been a long time ago, but I think we have not taken it. It was an issue several years ago when I was involved with the city of Toulon. I just wondered. Okay. Cool. 
Both of those. <laughs> okay. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Mr. Magnuson? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. You know, he's got Mike's name. You know, right. You sign him and I'll change the wording on it. Okay. The next item I have is uh, for the people's seal of attention bridge. Um, bridge construction is uh, continuing very well. They accept the pre distressed pre cast uh, tech teams. And uh, we've also done three of them now. And uh, have been working on bringing the approach roadways up to grade. Uh, with the new bridge elevation, which was raised about three and a half feet. Uh, and <coughs> have to build roadways up to meet that. Uh, we've been working on that. And uh, in fact, this week they should be placing uh, the riprap along the banks and then doing the final road grading. Uh, yet this week, along as well as the other very possible the bridge may be uh, reopened traffic here within about a week. That's good. On uh, the salt shed, uh, for the most part, things have gone <laughs> smoothly. We did have some issues. Uh, when, uh, when Macon began the concrete work, uh, there were some issues with their, uh, being able to handle the concrete quantities that came But then they got some concrete from the plant that was out of spec. So they had to take that out too. Uh, <coughs> Third time was a charm. Third time was a charm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have bars and insurance. Oh, okay. It was uh, uh, not, not a, uh, a real great situation to be in. stopped out there and unfortunately that even though there was two different days that things went wrong it wasn't the same problem both days at least they corrected the problem the first day and the second day it was the plant's fault so I mean at least it, it did you know if it happened two days in a row with the same thing then it had been well wait a minute we got to do something different but I think one after the first day they were on the right track it just the bad concrete the second day it, you know, that's Mark's job to test it, and it didn't test right, so. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, no, the temperature of the first day was actually about 70 degrees. It wasn't that bad a day. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the smell was out of temp the second time. Uh, not necessarily out of temp, it just, uh, they didn't work it fast enough, and it started setting up. Well, it had too much air, you said, in it the second day. The second time, yes, I'm sorry. The, yeah, that's what I would. Oh, okay, yeah, the, I'm sorry. <coughs> the second time, uh, it was a hair problem. Uh, I that requires a hair content of the concrete, maybe five to eight percent, and uh, it, it's unfortunate because typically if the concrete would never leave a plant with too high of a hair. Uh, if anything, you would want it too low because then you can always add some admixtures on the site that would increase that hair content. But when it arrived on site at uh, ten and a half percent. There's no, there's no way to get air out of concrete. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. so it's it's done now and looks good. Yeah. So, so is, is it up? Yeah. No, no, the no, floor. Just yeah. the floor. Because where is it at in comparison to the old green? Is it behind it? Is it side? It's up the hill to the north. Oh, okay. Because that's on the other day. In the northeast corner down. of our lot there. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll come down once we get the new one up. Yes. Quite a nice sort 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's up the hill a little bit. I'm surprised these folks haven't wanted to keep it for the aesthetic value. Now, Tom, you're on camera, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm glad. It's fine with me. You don't want me to bring the remarks about the people over the while I live either, so I'll just be quiet about that. That'd be good. <laughs> Uh, since, uh, since the floor uh, construction got going on the right foot, uh, it went very smoothly. Uh, we had a great job. Uh, it went very well after that. So, uh, and as we said, the floor is now complete. So uh, the next step, uh, we would like to kind of recure uh, for about a week and then uh, go to new construction on the uh, steel trusses. So we are still on schedule, I think. On the technical side, uh, I've been busy with uh, some of the Osceola Bridge construction and the Salt Ship construction. Uh, of course, the Essex Township bids. Uh, we also got uh, our, some culvert quotes. We put those out for bid. Uh, it seems like this was a year to do some culvert work. Uh, the county a lot of townships are doing culvert work. And we've got several culverts that we So we thought we could put those out for bid and get, get some good quotes for those. So, those. Uh, on the maintenance side, uh, boy, it doesn't take much heat to make things start moving in the pavement. Uh, we've uh, got the guys out uh, doing some patching. Uh, we've also had some equipment repairs. Uh, we're reaching a point on our mower. Uh, it's an Italian-made mower, and we just replaced the gearbox. Thank you. Thank you. Two or three months ago, I advised you that uh, Logan County 911 board called me and said that they could build 3000 to $3,500 uh, for uh, uh, fees from Bradford's 911 since its inception. But the bill hadn't been coming to us, it had been coming to Logan County. Well, the Logan County board has decided that they want to pay for that. So I told the Logan County Board 
We're not paying it. That's not our fault. No. It's not our problem. And if you have a problem with that, you need your state's attorney to contact our state's attorney. <laughs> Where's Logan County? We have no idea no, why or how. Uh, so that's where that stands. I told you that. Well, that's, that's where that stands. I, my opinion is the phone company's fault. Well, that's what I said. And that's what I told the guy at the time. That's who they should be contacting. And I still, I check the phone bills every month, and I can't, since we had our meeting, I can't see yet where they're even billing us the $50 a month that they're supposed to. So I don't know if they're still billing Logan County or somebody else. So this is just for the Bradford area? Yeah. Now each exchange, each town, Bradford, uh -huh. Wyoming, goes So they're not zero. billing us for Bradford, so we don't know who's paying for Bradford? Uh, I don't know yet. Bradford goes through an exchange in Bloomington. And that comes back up here. And where do we go? Where does two on go through? Two on and then it comes here. And then, then Wyoming is the same way locally, but it comes here. So anyway, I told them I need to contact our state's attorney. Okay. Uh, you've got a little handout in your packet from Jarvis Welding. Yeah. That's the estimate that we did. Uh, Remember last winter we had to shut the water down and put a plug in one of the tubes. That's Jarvis Welding's bit to uh, strip it and to it. Uh, this is the only bit I got. If the board wants me to, I'll get other bids, but I would just assume that Jarvis does the work. Okay. That's who you're comfortable with and yeah. you don't think it's out of line. I line. Best yeah, they all, all we can't redo it. They can't or won't or well, I when I talk to the football signer, it's just a, it's not something. If it was in their shop, it'd be different. Right. So I just need the board's okay to have them do that whenever it warms up. Warms up. Did they did they feel like this would be better than your regular? So what's the question? They'll do the job. I move we approve this bit. I second it. This, uh, I feel this was caused by two miles water. Everybody I've talked to said that. Uh, now, that's supposedly different now? Is that going to No, because what's happened since then is I hired, uh, I have a, a uh, lease with certified chemical company, the same company the school uses. It comes in and treats the boiler with chemicals and keeps the pH where it is supposed to be. So that will hopefully keep yeah, that that should, that should that should that it. It's worked off of the school. Fifteen hundred dollars a year, I think. Yeah. It's, it's well worth it. Yeah. Well worth it. Right. Okay. We have a motion and a second then to approve this uh, work for the Jarvis Building. Any other discussion? Is that Don and Tom? Yeah. Don and Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Schmidt. Yes. Mr. R. Story. Yes. Mr. S. Story. Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Ms. Magnuson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. The second hand I've got is from uh, Dewberry, uh, Paul Bearden and Dewberry Associates and concerning the Cubo. And this is something that's not unexpected, but what it is is just telling us that after they uh, pressure wash the Cubo and inspect it, there's several uh, conditions up there that they're going to have to correct. That will be replaced that wasn't on the original bid. So naturally, the bid will have to be adjusted up or, upwards. And it's, it's uh, I think in the bid, there's, they can go upwards to a certain percent. And at the end, it's, it's nothing new. I figured you know, they find that. They don't know the No. I think. Quite people question me, you know, well, I thought they were going to take it down and fix it, you know, but I, was, I knew they weren't going to do that. So what is the issue? It's underneath? How are they going to do no, that? No, it's just that the metal's been up there so long. The pictures show, if you got pictures in yeah. there, it shows you. Is it? Is you it? Just, those places, the metal has to be replaced. It can't be. Fixed. No, but what's the main issue? Is it leaking underneath on the roof? I mean. Yeah, it was leaking. Okay, only so they can get to there and repair it? Only mistakes it turns off. So <laughs> it's not <laughs> What the, what the extra cost is going to be up, I don't know. I think above the contingency, like, if you agree with three files, I mean, yeah. So. yeah. 
Otherwise, they're on. Yeah, they're, they're still going to be done, they hope, by July 13th. Barring weather. I see they're taking pieces, and is that what they're planning? Well, right guess? now they're taking out the louvers, and they're just, I think, because they're, they're already new louvers. Okay. Uh, you see them ready to replace, put the new louvers in when they get here. So, so this metal work, will it have to be made up there? Or uh, no. Any questions, Robert? No. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing this signature. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Uh, thirty nine thousand. We just looked at the thirty nine thousand two sixty five. Three 
Well, these were set for four years. But Marion's we did No, it's just on a different time. It was also set for four years, but as we discussed last meeting, we don't have we didn't have to set it by a deadline, and we didn't have to set it for four years. I think. So we can be revisited here. Okay. Uh, the way she's the same. Never mind. Same here. Okay. Well, this isn't this. Is this what you printed up then? Yeah. All right, but she's not the same though. Because for 2013, you got 37,000. Excuse me. Treasurer. It says circuit clerk. This is just a draft. I was okay. thinking the county board could scratch that out. I got you. Figure. Okay, so the numbers are not theoretical. Okay. Yes. So where is she at now, though? I don't know. She's the same as. She is the same. Uh, as me. Is that right? No, Mary's salary currently for the fiscal year is this amount. Here, I'm just doing this with you. Down to 443, which is the same amount as the uh, Excuse me, let me just check this. So, this this is Marion's office budget. This is Marion's salary, which corresponds with Linda's for 2011. Mm -hmm. And then, that's, also, what we that, that's where we're at right now. So, this would be the projected at 3% okay. for this next fiscal year and the year after. Okay, so the 40 is already set for 12. Yes. That was already set. Yes, this so is the final year. Right. So I think kind of what we talked about is maybe only doing it for two years. Right on the same. Yeah, and cycle. putting it on to three percent for two years, and then it all be up at the same time, uh -huh. and then see how economic conditions are by then, and what the situation is, and then we put everybody. Because in the past we were always thought that we had to have for four years. Yeah, but you can't usually. Well, like the personnel, you can increase the salary decrease during your term of office. But somehow that would be determined but by the clerk. Circuit clerk is different. Circuit clerk is different. Circuit clerk is different. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, because the courts have said that circuit clerk is an extrajudicial officer. So they can, okay. they can re be regulated annually. Even though it's elected, it's still in a different category. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I move that the board approve that we uh, increase. Circuit clerk's salary by three percent for each of the next two years. That would be thirteen. <coughs> <14. coughs> okay. We have a motion and a second to increase for three percent, which is consistent with the other officials and uh, the same basic salary as the county clerk is on. So four four. Mr. S story? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Ms. Magnuson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Abstain. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. Okay. Let's see, for the, for the schedule for the final two years, do you want to maintain years two, three, four is constant to be revisited with the understanding in year three? Bring that by again. Okay. Okay, so. so Year one is going to be increased 3%. Year two is going to be increased 3%. But to fill out the schedule, is it the county board's intention to keep years, for the time being, years three and four the same? Mm -hmm. well, we do no, to revisit the rest of the We have to put up for some years. Right. Yeah, we're just going to do our two years. Yeah. What you're saying is, do we, I'm asking, do we need to put something in for those? I think you need to put something in those years with the understanding that they'll be re revisited in year three. Well, year I, four. I guess uh, as long as it can be changed, we could just put it in for the 3%. The do we, why do we have to do that to serve a part to be done every year? Why do we have to do that well, if, you, if you just want to do it for the first two years, then. I, mean, I think that's what our intent is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then look at it. If we have, yeah. If we can do that, let's we, just put it in. For the year, yeah, those three percent increases for the 13, mm -hmm. 14. Yeah. 
Place of the county board to be doing these things in the first place. You know, I, I've always questioned that a little bit, even. You know, <coughs> well, I, I don't want to be cold hearted about I, it. I understand. We've done it since 1997. Remember I know. Before. I know. But we had money back then, too. Well, I'm saying we'll have money again someday. Someday. But we don't now. <laughs> <coughs> well, I don't think it's used that much. Well, whatever. Whatever everybody thinks. You got any opinions? Yeah. Who administers this? Linda? It's thirty-five dollars more in the realm. I told them they got so is this just for a death in the family? Well, no, it's no, not. I mean, surgery. And, you know, and I really appreciate when I was in the hospital, but it's it's not something that I'd say I appreciate it, but I just right. don't know whether it needs to be done for. A death in the family is a little different, but I think maybe we're going to go too far. Illness? I mean, what, when you get the flu? Or... <laughs> no. I mean, no, I, mean I know, I know, but I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 I guess I don't have a problem with raising it if we're a little bit more picky on what we do at all. Well, I, and my point is, maybe just because we raise it, that don't mean you have to spend it all. Right, right. You know, you can spend however much you can buy with it. But at least in some family, happens, would that have be appropriate? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Three, yeah. Most of the time, if it's somebody that I mean we're all close to, we're going to do something individually anyway. Anyway, yeah. So that's where you know I don't. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I don't want to sound cold hearted either, but I think death definitely. There's no problem with that. But the others, the car, the you know, car is always nice. You know, it's just just the thought that's yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, No, we don't. We don't. I know, but you know, you got a good point, Robert. It, it, it doesn't. It takes more money to do something, but uh, I guess my opinion is we just need to be a little bit. Right. Like Bob said, a card. Half the time, you know, unless it's a, a death in the family or something like that. And but I'd like personally, I'd like to get raised to fifty dollars. Any, any I'll second. Following the same guidelines we have now. No, just be more Yeah, I know that. Since more often. Thank you for the death and the and everything. How often do we do it and you go in? Not really often. Well, let's see. We use the frame. You can keep that. That was sent to the end of the That was 25 hours. But two people had surgery, right, Marion and Julie? Uh -huh. And they were sent flowers? Flowers, correct. I don't know what the cost was, but I assume 25. 25. Yeah. I got one. Did they give you flowers? Yeah. Well, I don't know where you were losing money. I told you. I always about 100 flowers. Yeah, yeah, well, it's yeah, just yeah, what this is. Like. Not bad. You know, it just doesn't happen that often. No, no but I, I, I'm in agreement with you guys that we had a little bit more to cards on. So, so leave the death to fifty dollars, yeah, and the right. rest cards. Is that okay right. with the? Yeah, I can, I can live with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Mr. Howes? Yes. Ms. Magnuson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, we have a prevailing wage ordinance, which is just uh, paperwork we do every year, right? Right. Yep, that's the standard. I don't think I put copies in much. Is a board file. Who is this set by? Is this set it's by the state? State or federal government. Okay. Every area has a, their own, depending on the area where you live, where you are out of what. It does vary? Yes, it varies. Yeah. Yeah. I start kind of be less of Cook County. Okay. But anything. Okay. There, there is a list in here that does give all the yes. right. yes. things that. Uh, yeah, that's the post that will follow that. Anybody like to look at the? What's it for? It's I mean, so. prevailing wage that ain't work done government that we pay for, like the cupola and all this. Oh, okay. or anybody we hire has to be paid at yeah. the prevailing wage. At least that amount. When you're hiring a contractor, you can't enforce it, but you tell them that they are too, and then yeah. it's up to them. Yeah. Okay. Any type of like you said. So we got to pass this thing yearly. Yes. 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 And that's the question. Okay. Is, uh, the state of Illinois has enacted an act regulating wages of laborers, mechanics, and other workers employed in any public works by the state, county, city, or any public body, any political subdivision, or by anyone under public works. Approved June 26, 1941. Yeah. Yeah. Moving, we approve the Bay Mary statement. We second. Second. Okay. Second. Uh, motion, Robert, second. The prevailing wage for the county. Any other discussion? What happens if we say no? We uh, could get fired. We could lose our fifty dollars money. We did. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. The state, the state, told, us, the state told us in 1941 we got to do this. And that's what we do. Uh, they don't provide us with any revenue stream to do it with. But we could get all kinds of construction work done here cheaper than those oh, yeah. wages. And I, I think we do. But we have to tell them mm -hmm. that it has to be for the only way. What is that? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah, that was yeah, they're trying to rob everything we got now, so I don't think it severely hurts us in our, in our county. But. So basically, anything large enough to go out for bid, that's what you're going to go, and then you can, you know, they, it's just to be posted so they know what they can charge. Yeah. Uh, we got full board yet, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mrs. Madison? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Oh, I'd like to vote no, but yes. Mr. <laughs> Arstory? Yes. Mr. Arstory? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Vice Chairman Muslim? Yes. No, no. Is that what it's pointed? Just There's two it. of them. <laughs> we'll yeah. We'll get the ball. We'll get the third page. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it. Changes already. Well, if you don't you. do union or any of the things at school this year, right. when they have to pay you. Right. All right, we're down to committee reports. Finance, bills. Anybody see anything you want to talk about, or Robert, you got anything you want to bring up? No, I already went through them all. Who is the stuff? Thirty-six hundred dollars for the appointed council. Right for you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> happens every other month. Yeah, it does. 
That ain't all. Rennie got some too, I think. Well, Rennie, Rennie got 33. Oh, wasn't very long ago. He got six grand. So. He had some last month. He got yeah, $276 this last month. I, I'm just, I questioned him a long time ago, and I was told we would pay it, period. So I quit questioning him. Yeah, it's not. Anything we can do about it. Only one thing we could do is see if they wouldn't do some legislation so that we could, like where we pay our public defender now, where, where that money would be in a fund and it would be fixed so that we don't have to pay this large amounts of money. That's something. Yeah, but I don't think the judges would ever go for yeah, that. Yeah, the judges. I don't know if you have to do the judges for that. You have to go back you know, to those the judges. Those when they're working on the pension plans, the judges are always exempted. Well, the judge is the one that determines yeah. whether it can be on our public defender or not. Yeah. Okay, but what I'm yeah. saying is they allow the legislature pass legislation so we could fund a public defender mm -hmm. at a lot less money right. than what we're paying these guys. Right. So the only way around it is to go back to the legislators and ask them to show them the plight we're in, that we're still getting nicked this bad for it, and see if they won't in the but next that, General Assembly do something the, about it. The judge it. sets that. It's the judge, it's the one that you know, points the alternatives and tells them what to do. Okay, yeah. okay, but what I'm saying is we hired, what's his name? <coughs> right. For a fixed amount of money. We're paying them out the public defender. Right. Yeah, but, but it's lots less money than what we're paying every yeah, time. Um, but we're not using When he's not money. here working, you're still paying him. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but a I wall with the three thousand dollars you just paid. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Well, because because this is a conflict of interest is why we have to hire these guys, right? Not always. Sometimes there's two people that need one. Need okay. Them. okay. Right. Exactly. Public defender than a court All right. All right. I know that's one thing that Jim's told us in the past. That, uh, so we're using two. our public defender just in some yes. cases we yes. need additional. Right. Yep, and tell them what we charge for taking their prisoners too, though. Works, works bad. It's on there somewhere. Oh, that's what's it. I don't think they were supposed dollars. to be free across the street. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know why I've seen it. Defense of them across the street, they've treated a whole lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Very reasonable. Very nice. What across the street are you talking about? The dentist office. The dentist office. <laughs> you go there? Don't no. bring that up. No. <laughs> Not to me anyway. <laughs> no, really go. You don't use it then. Can't. First thing they asked me is they got insurance. So how the hell are you gonna have insurance when they're in jail? I thought you were working for the state. They won't look at prisoners. Dental, medical, psychiatric, what is it? Well that was we, I think we discussed this before. That's yes, be we have. Well they're public they're aid over there? Yeah, they're public aid. They do public aid with that. The state the state reimburses them. So, public aid. Any county is not public aid. There's a there's a catch in the thing. Mm -hmm. We picked a lot of people who yeah, can prove yeah. that they have a Number 70, a 74. Right. But they do a lot of people who prove, can prove they have a substandard income, too. I've heard flyers are cheaper than that. Yeah. Prisoner extraction. I, yeah. <laughs> $190. Right, right. And you're so thinking about giving the lawyer 260 <laughs> I would have liked to, but believe me, yeah, no one. Knowing whose tooth it was, I would have loved to have done that myself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> easy, Jimmy. <laughs> what have we got for a <laughs> He's so close to that recorder. <laughs> I'm making a motion when we pay the bills. That's a second. <laughs> motion. Well, we're all looking at the yes, public yes. defender and, uh, on our budget here on page. Page. We're all paid one. Yes, they're all paid one. But yeah. Stark County Treasurer General Fund. There's a uh, public <coughs> defender <coughs> fees. Uh, public defender fees. The budget's twelve hundred. Yeah, we haven't spent that yet. Court appointed counsel's down below that fifty three sixty. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Uh, no, eighteen thousand. The budget. Oh, I'm sorry. And we've spent seventy six seventy four prior to this month. We haven't spent any of the public defender fund. There's some wrong. There, uh, no, we spent uh, $14,500. There you go. $14,500. Yeah. And the budget, $27,000. So they get paid that on that wide. Yep. Yeah, I mean, and the concern it would be if it's a lot over our budget. I mean, court appointed if we budget $18,000 or $76,000. Right. So we're okay. Well, we're budget. Yeah, I mean, that's just the idea. 
And then, and then exactly. Mr. Owens isn't here because I, I think in defense we try to recover some of that too. They try. No, they yeah. try. I don't think it's. Have you ever seen the results? Yeah. Exactly. I'd like to see the results. Oh, we can ask him. You mean to see this paper? There's your results. Come <laughs> on, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any solution to that. No. There you just come back. You can ask him. <coughs> You missed the best part of the conversation on the public defender's money and and what we're spending for court appointed counsel. And I said that you tried to recover some of it. Do we get any of it recovered, or is it just gone when we spend it? Uh, well, I think it should be considered that it's very very small portion of it is going to be recoverable. But I think the court Judge Borden is now ordering a uh, minimum amount of payment. So just by agreement with the defendant, is supposed to go into a hearing and their assertion of being indigent. So I think there'll be some concerted effort. But we were discussing, and we talked about before, you said that sometimes there's there's two defendants, so one has to have our our regular one, and then the other has to special have a appointment. special one, and yeah. there's yeah. just... Yeah. And the judge does appoint them, right? It's a special appointed public defender that tenders the bills. But who appoints them, the, the judge? Yes, you know, yeah. the court makes the appointment. Yeah, yeah right. It's too Yeah, it's just frustrating, but that's what we can do. So. All right, we've had a motion and a second to approve the bills. Any other discussion? Anybody else have any questions? It's always a good thing to ask questions about these because they're interesting. Anything else? Well, we'll pull the board. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Mr. Howells? Yes. Ms. Magnuson? Yes. Vice Chairman Muslim? Yes. Okay. On to the rest of the committee reports. Don, did you have anything? Well, I no, I don't. I missed, I was out of the country from the uh, Star County Health Department had its board meeting. So I missed that. I understand that. Uh, Lee Hager is going to take his wife's place on the board. Right. They know by be my by me by email because yeah. you weren't here last month and want to know if you do it this month. So yeah, you you sent that. Did you I did. Okay. I sent it to you the email. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. So I move that we approve Lee Hager's to fill that. They can position on the uh, Sark County Health Board. Okay. I'll second that. Yeah. The others were some reappointments. Reappointments. Okay, we'll Bogner. Do, we'll do them separately then. That's the big announcement they can see now. Yeah. Any discussion? Okay, pull the board on uh, replacing, putting Lee Hager on the health front board, replacing his. Uh, Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. R. Story? Yes. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Ms. Magson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to reappoint Doris Bokner. Uh huh. And. Doctor? Mr. Cockles. And Nancy yes. Eagleston. And they're both very good members of the board, so I. Nancy Eagleston also. And so you can see there's three reappointees. Yeah, they're all, they all participate and do well. Okay, we have a motion from Don to reappoint those. We have a second. I'll second. second. Robert, second. Any further discussion? We'll pull the board. <coughs> Mr. R. Story? Yes. Yeah. Mr. S. Story? Yes. Mr. Howes? Yes. Ms. Magson? Yes. Mr. Mueller? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Vice Chairman Musselman? Yes. Well, we're fortunate we do have these people yeah, that are really willing really to do it. Do it yeah. mm -hmm. Tom, any report on the buildings? I don't think we've heard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sheriff right. has a comment. 
Uh, while you're talking about the Henry County Health Department, I'd like to thank uh, Henry Star County Health Department. I can't think of their uh, controller's name. Gail Ripken? No. Uh, I can't think I of Michael, Michael something? Like yeah. But anyway, we just sent a kid to prison and while he was in our custody. He had uh, certain drugs he had to take. And due to the drugs, he had to have blood tests every day in the Henry County Health Department stopped every day and did it, but then they also sent me a bill for $1,000 for doing it. But I called him and he absorbed that $1,000 fee into his uh, whatever he's got there to do. Wow. That's very nice. That's, that's great. Oh, that CD. Yeah. I'll pass that on. Yes. That's what yeah, I'll say, I'll Don. Pass it on yeah. That's what you say, Don. That's what I'm saying. Well, I think you know, I really appreciate it too. They do have people here going through two miles of Wyoming every day visiting people. So that's really nice of them to do that because they could easily charge us. Yeah. They did. Well, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're like any other one. You see so something come across. Yeah. When, that, when that nurse stops or does it, they're going to write off. Right, right, right. Stop, right. right. You know, Can I get you to absorb some of your bills, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got the report there, and uh, Denny and Rick really are continuing to push and do that. A couple of interesting things are is the second bullet there, working with BCEO on financing assistance plans. Uh, this is a program that hopefully in the future some people can take advantage of. Again, you know, I think we told you before, when Dan and I went to this meeting in Peoria on, the, on, on rural economic and things like that, that the state and other people consider small business 150 employees and up. But this type of plan they have out there can really allow the small entrepreneur to get started. And uh, they did have a meeting in Cambridge a week and a half ago, and that representatives from the State Bank of Toulon and uh, State Bank of Spirit were there. And input from them is that they will definitely look at this and help people interested in maybe starting some business in Stark County. Also, I continue to uh, totally uh, praise the way the extension service, what they're doing, and continue to do with us now much better than in the past. I feel that, for instance, next uh, Tuesday, I think, uh, or one of these days, yeah, uh, the uh, director of the entire extension service that works out of U of I is coming to visit the new Fort County area, and they're actually having him come and stop in Toulon for coffee and donuts just to see one of the smaller towns and then go to Galva for lunch and things like this. So this person's not only looking at the Quad Cities area, they're really <clears throat> bringing him to the small areas and trying to make him aware of what's going on in, in small areas, especially with economic development and other things. So the U of I Extension Service is really going with that. The rest you can see for yourself, uh, there is, uh, like I said, First Park, you know, they work with us at the uh, Trying to get, uh, I'm saying with us, I'm talking about now the two-line grocery store and getting people in there. And for the last time, we looked at saving electrical costs and things like this. So uh, they're really working hard to get things going. So it's looking very well. Okay. All right. You know, it's always a problem to get recognition for this kind of stuff. Yeah, that happened on behind the scenes. What well, people just aren't aware of. No, that's what we were saying that day at a meeting. I was involved in one of my local committees. And in fact, the city council members there, and we had to point out to them that we come from too long. That a lot of the things that go on that that Denny does, and even Rich now, you can't put out there. It has to be quiet. Yeah. Sure. It's like you can't because that's uh, we got you know with that, and that uh, that is important to get there to to say you got to keep it quiet or you can blow the whole deal. Yeah. Yeah. Nature of the business. Yes. Yeah. I like going around the scenes. And they yeah. Do keep me, they do keep me informed pretty much on what's going on. <coughs> yeah, hopefully the city council as well. They've started a little bit, but I see a lot of right now. A little bit recognized. Do you want to get back? Yeah. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Well, the yeah, back here. Oh, geez. Yeah, if I know he's back there, I wouldn't have said it. Forget everything I said about Bridgeport. We're working on Bradford. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, so I think Bradford has to realize that they come and ask for help when they're not, you know, they don't want to give me money, but they still want help. But, so, any, but, but, but I bet they had the largest percentage of sales tax increase yeah. last year of anybody in the county. Not dollars, but percentage. 
and we think we played a role in that. Yeah. And, what, and what business is uh, doing that for them? I can't hear you. What's he doing that for? What business, what business is, is in particular? That can you? Probably the restaurant and the grocery store and probably uh, Cherry Tree. Yeah, cabinets. As near as we could determine. Because they don't have the highest, just have the highest increase from the Highest percentage. Yeah. Percentage increase. Not dollars, highest percentage. There's an increase. Good, good. Well, hopefully they will continue to see mm -hmm. what, uh, what, what it helps, how it helps. Okay. Uh, Steve, do you have anything on? No, you know. Anything? You're not having any problems with any computer thing or anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. If I don't have anything, Mike has all the their governmental stuff. I know I went to a large uh, meeting the other day, so he'll probably have some things for us next month. But uh, I think you probably saw in the paper there was a couple of appointees to the ballot for the uh, next election. So I think I think there is someone to fill every spot now. Yeah, there is. There's one on the sports ball, the veterinarian. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, your box show. Yeah, and then the other one is Bill Long. Bill Long. So. Who? Bill Long, teacher down at the high school. Another teacher? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm retired. Don't look at You're not going to be here, Robert. So. That's right. I really don't care. I'm just glad we've got people yes. uh, willing to fill all the spots yes. now and uh, happy for that. So, uh, anybody else has anything in discussion or follow up on? I'd like to mention something. Um, Jim Nolan is spearheading an effort to uh, put in a tribute page for Mike Bigger's leadership in the Stark County History Book. It's $125 per page. I'm a pledge of $25. And so, any of the rest of you like to recognize Mike in this way, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. He sent an email out. I got that's how I did it. Sorry. He sent an email. I don't know. Did it get you? The no, public the public must have been the public. Yeah. 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 I didn't <laughs> get it. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you can get Go ahead. Uh, I think that's a great idea. Uh, Jim, Jim wrote it up. He wrote it up. I mean, it's a two-page. I read it. We don't have to do anyone. No, we're not, we're not a group. We don't know. Has your CCI sent out anything on what's going on in Springfield with the budget cuts? My concern is with the health department if, if their budgeting process is going to become more critical than it was in years past. I, I, I saw the regional superintendent go down. Well, the numbers. The numbers are yeah, yeah, the numbers. Yeah. It's not a that old yeah, But otherwise, the health department, I didn't, did you think about the no, health department? Uh, who knows anymore right now? I think it's the Medicaid. It's well, Medicaid. Medicaid. That's going to be yeah. 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 That, that that thing. Them, One of the things is, I just have to think of today, Debbie was talking today, and I pronounced her last name, Chica, she got, you know, the gal that works. Yeah. She is no longer with us. We're going back to one day a week. They've got they had about like four or five people at the stand, you know, and so you know, and she as I say, she can drag you nuts, but she's one of the best things that she what are they there? She's gonna be the, the person I don't know when it starts gonna be Wednesdays only. The person that came out and did the inspections the <coughs> no, no, this is the one help in the office. Oh, we're talking about that workforce. Thing. Workforce. I'm yeah, thinking of the health department. No, the that network, the network the workforce network that uh, she could really she really tried. She oh, really tried okay. to do things and just mm -hmm. but Cutbacks like crazy there too. That's part of the whole thing. So she, she won't be coming. It'll be somebody else. It'll be somebody else. Right. I don't know. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. 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 Anyway, Wednesday is going to be the day that this person will be here. So one day a week, so we get her. She had been up here as many as three days, about three and a half days, and now she dropped down to two and now. Well, you know, none of us want cuts, but no. yeah, no, they, 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 they got to do something. Yeah. Okay. I haven't heard any more lately about the replacement tax cuts, so I don't know whether that's... Seems that's seems like that. Yeah. Well, I think they're, they solved that with the... Well, weren't they closing the superintendent and they solved that by decreasing? Yeah. Where are they going to do that, Bob? Oh, they just... But I mean, like, Henry County, I mean, that will just take on more counties? Yeah, well... Because they're going to decrease it from 50... What was yeah, it? I think, 55 I to 40-something? 40-something, I think, you know, Henry Stark... You're on Henry Stark. 
might be absorbed, and we might have seen Noxcon right now stands by itself. So Noxcon is going somewhere. Yeah. And there'll be a couple others, those smaller ones that have yeah. kept managed politically to keep their. So they solved maybe that problem. They won't be worried. They I think the only way got the goal was to keep it out of replacement tax. Yeah. So yeah, because you know, that might be something. <laughs> that's a major hit that we can't afford to no. stand right. or anybody else. So they solve that problem. Anything else? We need to do anything that we need any follow up on uh, tonight. No. You know, to talk to Mike if he still wants to move down bag or anything. Like that. Oh, well. so, email him tomorrow. Okay. Uh, anything else? We're motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. I will not be here. I will not be here next one. Okay. Our daughter and grandmother.